Okay, we're ready to get started. I want to welcome everyone to this private workshop. I'm Darren Hardy, CEO, mentor, publisher, and editor of Success Magazine. I'm so delighted that you could join me. So before we get started, let me just check with my operator to be sure that we are all signs go. Do you see that? How's the audio? Good? Okay. Well, she says we have all systems go, so I first want to congratulate you for being on, for seeing an opportunity to join a workshop on how to finish big and then prioritize your schedule to attend and be dialed in right now to participate in this program. So the fact that you have and that you're here with me right now tells me a lot about you and the type of person that you are. So bravo, I'm really excited for you as I know how the ideas that I'm going to share with you have impacted my life and my results. So I'm sitting here just buzzing, thinking about what tonight could mean to you and to your ability to close out your big goals and set yourself up for a big year in 2014. Once again, the uh, registration expectations of this special workshop wildly exceeded our expectations. We set a record once again, and once again, we had over 20,000 people register to attend. So Right now, as you listen to my voice, there are tens of thousands of people connected to this online workshop and from several dozen countries across the world. Can you feel it? Incredible. I want to welcome and acknowledge my international friends, as I know many of you are watching this in the wee hours of the night slash morning, so welcome. Okay, well, I hope you're ready for a fast-paced, intense workshop. Do you have a notepad or your journal ready to take notes? If not, go grab it now. Also, before we get started, I need to ask your permission. And that is that it's okay to push you a bit. I believe a great mentor is one who does just that. Pushes you to do what you should and need to do, but without their loving, passionate, and sometimes tough prodding, you might not have. So I have to ask for your permission. Well, I guess at this point, it's a warning, really, that I do want to push you. I want to push you to become more than maybe you even thought you knew you were capable of. But I know that you are. So if you do just a few things, we can draw it out of you here tonight. One of those things at the end will be to invest in yourself a bit. If you're going to do more than you've done before, accomplish more than you've accomplished before, then you have to become more than you are right now. And that is going to require an investment in your personal growth, in your personal improvement. So towards the end of the workshop, I'm going to show you a killer resource, something no one else has seen yet, something I've been working on all year long, but is really 20 years in the making and something that only those of you connected to this webinar will know about this year. It won't be made public until 2014 and 500 of you on this webinar will get first access to it. Anyway, I can promise you this. It is something that if you absolutely, positively want to crush it in 2014, no matter your goals or objectives, this will be huge for you. Also, before we get started, let me give you this coaching tip. I know how tough it is to stay focused while on a web workshop. I've been on the other side. It's easy to let email, text messages, interruptions, or materials around you distract you. Don't let that be you. Commit to staying focused for the 65 minutes that we're together. That's as long as this workshop will be, 65 minutes. I'm gonna compress a lot of highly valuable information for you, for your business, and your future in these 65 minutes. It's taken me hundreds of hours to pack this together. You can spend 65 minutes. It will be worth it. Stay focused. In fact, I'll tell you what. I am even gonna pay you $1,000 for your focused attention and time tonight. At the end, I will show you how to activate a $1,000 gift certificate just for being on this workshop. So essentially, you're making $1,000 an hour. Well, for, for this hour at least. But you have to stay focused and all the way up until the end to collect it. Fair enough? All right, let's crank. So we're here to talk about how to finish big. Here we are, mid-November. You've gone the distance thus far. You've invested a massive amount of time, energy, effort, sacrifice, and dedication to put yourself in position, but it will be this last leg that will determine if your entire year ends in victory or, well, 
has you hobbling across the finish line, way at the back of the pack. That difference will be determined now, right now, in this moment. Lose another week or two and you will be too far behind to recover. So, will you dig deep, double down, put in the last kick to overtake your competitors and summit your goals? I hope so, and I'm gonna show you how. All right, so let's answer the pivotal question. What is it that separates winning from losing? In the game of life, like many other games that we play, what matters the most when it comes to determining victory over defeat is this. It's always the final stretch, the final seconds, the final shots, and the final effort. Did you know that there are more points scored in the final two minutes of the NFL of each half than all of the points scored throughout the entire game? Another example, in, the, in Major League Baseball, victory is most often decided on who can finish the ninth inning the strongest. Statistically, that is one of the greatest determinant of who goes on to win the World Series is who can stay strong through the ninth inning. And then in retail, in e-commerce sales, this is how much of that is done in these final 45 days. 20 to 40% of all sales revenue happens in the last 45 days of the year. And look, we all know, everybody starts, right? People make New Year's resolutions, they start diet programs, they start prospecting programs, they start date night programs with their spouse, new habits, whatever. It is not those that start, but victory, winning, success, is always decided in the finish. You have to finish. Let me give you some advice an Olympic coach gave a friend of mine while running track back in college. And this advice I've used ever since personally in my professional and in my personal life, and it's made a huge difference. So my friend was uh, an extremely talented sprinter, but regardless of his talent, effort, or even hard work ethic, he was still losing his competitions, consistently placing second. He would lead the entire race, yet get overtaken in the final stretch. He tried various approaches, but nothing seemed to work. He grew extremely frustrated. By the way, this might be the way you feel about achieving some of your big goals. You work really hard, you're really dedicated, you put in tons of effort, but still fall short once you cross the finish line on December 31st. Why? So during one of those meets, there was a well-known Olympic track coach in the stands. And once again, my friend placed second. The coach approached my friend and said, you have first place ability and you put in first place effort and commitment, but you finished second. Do you know why? No, my friend replied in frustration. The coach said, I've watched several of your races. In every one of them, you're ahead for 80 to 90% of the race. Then just as you're about to win, you make the fatal mistake. What's that, my friend asked. You look over your shoulder, the coach said, and that's when someone overtakes you. He continued, the next time you run, focus only on the end. Just fixate on breaking the tape. Forget what's happening behind you. Winners can't be afraid that they're running alone. You see, what happens is when you look over your shoulder, you switch your attention from the positive goal of winning to the possibility of someone overtaking you. Then guess what? It happens. You lose. What happens internally is when your brain circuits swing towards this fear, it affects your motor circuits and then slows you down. When you focus your brain only on breaking the tape, rather than outrunning the challengers that are behind you, you're telling your brain circuits to maintain your pace and finish strong. You are no longer registering information of what is behind you, but you gain the possibility of victory and stay focus on the goal. So the very next race, my friend won and he kept winning. He even ended up becoming an Olympian and competed in the 1996 Olympic Games. So the lesson that that coach gave him not only helped my friend, but it's helped me ever since. My friend told me this story many years ago. The lesson I learned is one, the race is won or lost in the final push. All your hard work all year can get flushed down the drain in the last two months and two weeks. And then two, during that push, focus only on one thing, breaking the tape. Don't let the crowd or even 
the competitors at your back or the other things that are in your environment that could be distracting you fracture your focus. Your body will follow your eyes. Keep a maniacal focus on breaking the tape. So here's the mentoring I want to offer you. At this critical part of the year, when you cannot afford any distraction, where your final push is going to determine victory or defeat, get clear about what could distract you. Write down five potential distractions you might encounter during the final stretch and then a prevention plan to keep it from happening, right? Is it, um, is it a mindset? You know, oh, it's, uh, it's slow this time of the year, so I'm just going to cruise a bit. No, I'll show you a strategy that leverages this mentality to your favor, but don't let yourself fall prey to this mental trap. Is it the holiday parties or family demands, or is it the weather, or is it your children's schedules? Is it jumping too far forward and thinking about next year before you finished this one? Is it uh, being involved in too much, trying to get too much accomplished, thus pulling your focus off of what really matters. Figure out your five and a contingency, a buffer or a delegation or a deletion or an outsourcing or a focus methodology to prevent it from derailing you from finishing strong. Here is a really important fact about finishing big that you need to fully grasp and commit to. Winning only requires a little bit more. Look, the difference between extraordinary success and ordinary or mediocre success is not that much. It's just a little bit more, a little bit. Let me give you a great example. Two weeks ago when I pulled up this data, the number one ranked golfer in the world was Tiger Woods. The number 10 golfer was Jordan Spieth of Texas. Who you say? I know exactly, but he's 10th in the world. Now let's compare these two guys statistically. Tiger Wood averages 69.88 shots per round in tournament play. Jordan, 69.98. Which means the difference between number one and number 10 is, get this, one-tenth of one stroke. Point one strokes. After more than 100 official rounds have been played. 10,000 golf shots taken between them, all the drives, all the bunker shots, all the putts, the difference between number one and number 10 is less than one-tenth of one stroke. But now, let's add up the difference in prize money. Tiger has collected $8.5 million just thus far, and Jordan, 3.8. That means Tiger has collected more than two times the money for only being 0.1 strokes better. What's even more, way more in fact, is how the world values number one over number 10. In 2012, Tiger Woods collected $65 million in endorsement income. Jordan, his endorsement income, negligible. It doesn't even show up on the top golf digest top 50 in total income. So it's so small, it's not really even reported on. See, people imagine that Tiger Woods is leaps and bounds better than any other golfer. But in fact, he's only 0.1 strokes better than number 10, and as a result, earns 20 times more money. 20 times! Then get this. Tiger is only 0.06 strokes better, less than one half of 1% than number two at the time. This is two weeks ago, and it was Heinrich Stenson, whom Tiger has out-earned by $2 million on the golf course and 20 times off of it. The payoff for hitting a few more buckets of balls on the driving range, practice, practicing your putt a little bit more, getting up a little bit earlier, staying a little bit longer, that little bit, maybe less than half a step or half a stroke, multiplies your reward many times over. So here's the lesson. And what I'm encouraging you to do right now, push yourself a little bit further. This, right now, at this time of the year, this is when you multiply your lead on everyone else. So my mentoring homework for you is this. Write down two to three areas where you need to do a little bit more. And two to three ways that you can. Okay, got that written down? Two to three areas where you could do a little bit more and two to three ways in which you can. To do so, 
let me help you with this important concept. You need to reframe your idea about pain. Reframe the pain. I want you to see pain as good. This is the one philosophy that I am so appreciative to my father for teaching me. If you read The Compound Effect, you know that my dad had painted on our garage wall where he had his Olympic size weight set filling a two-car garage, the words in big black block letters, no pain, no gain. He taught me that pain was the objective. He taught me how pain is growth because it is only through the pain that you get growth. I want you to see pain as progress with each step forward, as painful as each might be. It is still progress, and progress leads to victory. Victory is not possible without progress, which is not possible without pain. Pain is victory. Life and pushing yourself through your pain and threshold throughout your day is very much like working out. So let me give you this analogy. Let's say that your weight training and program calls for you to do 10 repetitions of a certain weight. Now, if you do the 10, you're fulfilling the expectation of your program. Great job. Good for you. Yet, if you do 10, and then, even if you've hit your pain point, but you push out another three to five reps, even if you need a little bit of help to do so, the impact that that set will have is multiplied several times. Each rep after your pain point becomes not just linear growth, but exponential. It ends up multiplying the result of that entire set. You won't just add a few reps to the aggregate of your workout. No, those reps done after you hit your max will multiply your results. So you've just pushed yourself through the wall of your max. The 10 previous reps that got you there, the real growth happens what you do after you hit the wall. Now take prospecting for instance. Everybody hits the wall when they prospect, right? You know that if you've done 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, and you just hit the wall. You know when you've had enough, right? You just don't want to pick up the phone again. That is when I always smile knowingly, knowing that my competitors are hitting this same wall, feeling this same pain, and I'm going to push through it. And as a result, I'm going to gain a stride on them. This is right where I start getting a stride on the competition with each new call I make while in the pain zone. Lou Holtz, the, uh, the famous football coach, knew that it is what it is that you did after you did your best that created victories. In one game, his team was down 42 to nothing at halftime. During the halftime break, Lou showed his team a dramatic highlight reel of second efforts to block, tackle, and recover the ball. Then he told his players that they were not on his team because they could give their all on every play. Every player does that on every team, Lou said. He said they were on his team because of their ability to make that critical extra effort on each play. It's the extra effort after you've done your best that is the difference maker. By the way, his team went on to win that game in the second half after being down 42 to nothing at the halfway point. That is how you win. And that is what I want you to do to finish this year strong. I want you to do just a little bit more. As soon as you feel that you've reached your max, your max effort, your max commitment, your max prospecting, your max dedication, your max productivity, then do just a little bit more. Go that extra half mile or so. I call it pushing yourself into the red zone. Most people avoid the red zone, right? They, they never allow themselves to get there. I'm telling you, that's where you find growth, victory, and separate yourself from everybody else. I personally measure myself by how many times I get into the red line each day. Did I get there in spin class? How many times? How long can I hold it once I'm in that red zone? Did I get there while I was prospecting? How long can I stay in it? Even putting on this workshop as I was preparing to put all this together, it took a tremendous investment of time, energy, and life force to put all this together. Several times I got, you know, had to persevere to stay focused and work on it, even though I was overwhelmed with other obligations, distracted or just plain exhausted from traveling, speaking, interviewing, or producing my other work. But I pushed myself into the red zone and held it there. And as a result, 
you've got this workshop. So it applies to most every project that you're involved in that matters every day, every day of the week. So adopt the philosophy that my dad taught me and that is, and it has served me so well in my life. No pain, no gain. He would say, don't avoid the pain, pursue it. Then when you get to it, that's when the game begins. The precursor just got you in the game. The game is what you do once you feel the pain. What you do in the pain is where the growth is. Doing that little bit more is how you finish big. It's what you do when you can't do any more. That second effort, that is what separates you from the rest. All that you have done this year has just brought you to the game. The real game begins now. Will you punch through your pain threshold? Will you do just a little bit more? Will you make that extra second effort? Will you finish as everyone else will do or will you finish big? And all of that is decided now. If you will do just a little bit more, you will get a lot more in return. Return of results, prosperity, and success. I want that for you. I want a lot more for you. To gain it, you just have to do a little bit more than you are comfortable with doing. 3X your effort right now, starting today. Right now, start 3Xing your effort. All right. Let me give you some very tangible strategies that you can use to 3X your results in these final days of 2013. This is what I call success compression. Compressing effort, energy, focus into a compressed period of time to ignite an exponential effect in your results. Let me explain. Here's number one. Prioritize for profitability. In these final days, final hours of the year, it is super critical where you allocate your time and focus. You have to identify the projects, the people, the messages that have the most leverage for you and the most potential for a big outcome during the final march towards December 31st. So here's what you need to ask yourself. The year's ending. There are lots of businesses that run their fiscal year on the annual calendar and even lots of individuals who, for tax reasons, need to make some speedy decisions and spend some money quickly. So completely reprioritize your prospecting list to those types of clients that have these year-end closing challenges and opportunities. So if you're a, a generalized business, focus your product or service offering to meet those needs. Adjust your marketing message to communicate to those needs. Those minor tweaks of who you focus on, what you focus on marketing to them and connecting your message to those needs could significantly jump your revenue in the final two minute drill of the year. Look, you have to go to a no huddle offense. You are in the final two minutes of the game. Now is the time to prioritize your focus. So here's what your list should look like. Identify your high value clients. Who's the key contact? Get it down to a single person, the tip of the spear, so to speak. Now identify their year of end need. What is the heightened need based on the year ending? Now, what is the specific aspect about your solution that you have that can address that specific need? Then make notes about how you're gonna message it to them. And then get busy, focused, concentrated, targeted, and on message contact management. Here's number two. Even if you're not in the business that has a particular value to your clients at the end of the year, you can still leverage this key strategy I call build your bank. I think it was Stephen Covey that defined relationships like an emotional bank account. During any exchange or transaction, you are either depositing money or you are withdrawing money into your relationship bank account. What we know for sure is, just like a real bank account, you cannot withdraw any money if there's no money in the account. So the month of December is a great time to make large deposits into a lot of accounts. The goal is to walk into, new, into the new year flush with cash. The way you do this is to give and give and give in December. Spend the month of December building your important relationships and making lots of deposits. How can you help, assist, and support them? The holiday season is an excellent time 
to give this a priority and focus. So go fill your accounts full of cash so that you can go into the new year with big accounts. So here's what you do. Look at your goals for next year. You already know what they are, right? Who is going to be most important to you in accomplishing those goals? That's who you need to invest in the most during the month of December. The accomplishment of your big goals is often not a factor of what you need to do or how you need to accomplish it. It always comes down to who you need to support your achievements. So make your list. And then, this is just me, but don't do what everybody else does. Don't bother with mass printed and mass mailed holiday cards or mass distributed chotskis or trinkets or cookies spending lots of dollars to deposit pennies because that's really the impact of those statements into your relationships, that's a losing proposition. I suggest instead to narrow your relationship list down to a smaller number and invest more deeply, not just financially, but emotionally. Do something to help them out in a significant way or remember them with gifts and sentiments that are personal and unique to let them know that you know them and you care about them. No matter the size of the success of the person, there are always only about one or two dozen relationships that make all their unique success possible. That's true for you too. So decide what your one or two dozen are and spend December stacking the cash in their accounts. The interest, the goodwill that it will earn through 2014 and beyond will make you wealthy. Hey, this is a big idea. I hope that you're getting the significance of it and will actually take action on it appropriately when this workshop is done. An excellent way to spend your final 45 days closing out 2013. All right, so the mentoring is this. Identify your dozen and then go love on them. Make your deposits all year round. You got that written down? All right, let's move on. Number three, and this is a big one, This is how you can get a huge jump on your competition. When they wake up in the new year and look up, you'll be so far ahead that if they work like a mad dog all year long, they still won't be able to catch you. You'll have the far head start on them. So this is a strategy I used when I was in real estate, and it can work for you. When I was in real estate, I would acquire more new listings and generate more new escrows in the month of January many times within the first two weeks of January, than 99% of all realtors ever did all year long. How'd I do it? This is the strategy that I will detail for you now. Frankly, I will say, to start, it is by doing exactly the opposite of what most people do. You see, I'm pretty much an anti-conformist in almost every way. I mean, tell me what's popular or where everybody else is going or how everybody else does it. And I'm pretty much always going to do the opposite of that. That principle in itself, I will tell you, is a killer success strategy. If you just pull that out from this workshop, just do the opposite of what everybody else does. Like just watch, listen, and read what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. You will be so far ahead of the herd of mediocrity of average just by that one principle. And I have found that most super successful people in the world are anti-conformist. I mean, think about it. Richard Branson, Donald Trump, Oprah Winfrey... Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, even Lady Gaga, all anti-conformists. They have made their fortunes by zigging when everybody else zags. One of the greatest success principles there are is this. Just find out what everybody else does and do the opposite. What do most people read? What do most people watch? What do they eat? Where do they go? What do they talk about? Find out and do the opposite. And that is true uh, of almost all human behavior. I don't know why more people haven't caught on to this. Life is so much more convenient, less crowded, and more successful as an anti-conformist. For instance, I never go into a store after uh, work uh, or on the weekends. That's when everybody else is there. If I have to go into a grocery store or a mall, God forbid, I go in the late morning or the early afternoon Uh, during a weekday. It's empty and it's awesome, right? (laughs) FYI, if you go into a Costco on a Saturday, you need to have your head examined. Never do that. It's self-inflicted masochism. I don't go into a gym 
in the morning or after 5.30. That's when everybody else is there. I try not to travel on Monday mornings or Friday evenings. If the fair comes to town, forget it. I avoid that part of town entirely. I don't vacation in places where it is in season there. You'll spend half your vacation waiting. Waiting for car service, waiting in traffic, waiting to check in, uh, fighting for a chair, poolside, waiting for a table, waiting, waiting, waiting. Forget it. Instead, go off season and have access to all of that without other slovenly vacationers crowding you out, right? I mean, doesn't this just make sense? It seems, it seems so obvious to me, but I'll tell you what, in the end, it certainly doesn't make sense to be doing whatever what everybody else is doing. I mean, that's for dang sure. I mean, look at the results everybody else is getting for crying out loud. That ought to be enough to scare you out of conformity. So what do most people do during the month of December? Now that we're talking about being an anti-conformist, are people more focused? Are they more productive? Are they, or are they more distracted and more lackadaisical? Are people working hard or hardly working? You already know the answer. That's one reason why you want to do the opposite. This is when you can get ahead, way ahead, and take advantage of the mood of the season rather than the mood of the season taking advantage of you. I'll explain. Here's one strategy in particular that you can use to leverage your December so that you can crush it in January. I want to show you how to have a bigger January than you've ever had before. If not, bigger than any first quarter you've ever had in your life. Okay, so now when I was in real estate, the market dies in December. It's the holidays, right? Nobody wants to have their house on the market with people tromping through it. During the holidays, they're too busy buying Christmas gifts to think about buying a house. They don't even have the time or interest to even meet with a realtor in December. This kind of scenario might be true for you in your business too. So what do you do? Here's the secret. Spend the entire month booking your appointment calendar for January. They don't want to meet with you now, but they are even more apt to book an appointment with you for January, which heck is all the way in next year. So I would crank the phones hard, just booking myself up for my entire calendar of January. By the time 8 a.m., January 2nd would come around. I was booked solid, wall to wall, flat out for the entire month. When my competition just started to rub the sleep out of their eyes and just begin to try and make appointments for the it, during the first weeks of January, they were so far behind they didn't even know what hit them by January 15th. No one could ever figure out how I did so much business in January uh, each year. It had nothing to do with what I did in January. The game had been decided by what I did in December of the previous year. For you, that's right now. So the strategy is, while maybe no one wants what you're selling during the holiday lag time, use this month to book yourself silly in January. And then, bang, it's January 1, of the new year. Now let's talk about how to be sure that you can go into the new year in a full sprint as the calendar page flips over and January 1 is staring at everybody and the strategies that will support your ability to hold that pace throughout all January and through the new year. The strategy is called prepaid your runway. When the calendar flips and it's January 1 and you want to take off, if you have to wait until you lay the runway in front of yourself, you're going to get seriously left behind. You want to have your entire January launch plan laid out before you enter the new year. This means you want to chunk and block out the time allocated to all the important areas of your life. Here's one. You will have all the appointments that you booked back in December, of course. Then you want to block out the appropriate time for your other key functions. What are the two to three key functions of your role in your job or business? Figure out what those are and then allocate and block out times on your calendar to do those vital functions. Look, there's nothing more insane than walking into your office each day without a complete itinerary already laid out. 
Because that's what happens when people do. They, they wonder why they allow themselves to get caught up in all sorts of unnecessary firestorms, spending their day reacting to other people's agenda and solicitations on their time and attention. And then they go home and their spouse asks, how was your day? And you say, I was really, really, really busy. But you didn't get any of your vital functions or anything to advance your agenda or goals done. If you hadn't been in the office all day, most all of those situations would have gotten worked out without you and you would not have even gotten sucked into all sorts of meetings, got a minute drop-ins, calls, email exchanges. In reality, it is if you didn't even work the whole day because you didn't do any actual work on your goals or your agenda. So you need to have a fully scheduled day before you start the day. As my mentor Jim Rohn would say, don't start the day until it's finished on paper. The other areas of priority need their allocated time blocks too. And this is another big mistake most people make. They let work demands, most of which are truly needless, consume their day, calendar, and wonder why they never have time to go to the gym, be with their family, have time with their friends, do their spiritual practice, or the other critical personal development that they need. So you need to have your workout schedule pre-booked and blocked. It is an appointment. Don't let anything interrupt it as you wouldn't if you had an appointment with an important client because there is no more important client than you and your health, energy, and vitality. The next block is to block out time that you will be spending with your family, friends, and the recreation that you need to keep yourself vitalized, right? If it doesn't get scheduled, it doesn't get done. Your friends, family, and lifestyle deserve a spot on your calendar. Book it and protect it with a vengeance. Don't let non-essentials get in the way of your essentials. I've always said, if you want to see what somebody truly values, not what they say they value, but truly value, look at their calendar. If they say they value their family, but work consumes their calendar, then they actually value work more than they do their family. Decide your true values, then give it appropriate representation on your calendar. And then, of course, is the time block for your mental improvement. And since this is so important and the one that I can help you with the most, I will spend some extra time giving you some tips to get a massive edge in this department going into 2014. But first, let me summar summarize what we've covered here. Prepave your runway. Your work, workout, social, family, mental, right? The mentoring uh, I offer you here is to book these things on your schedule for your January, at least, if not your first 90 days, but let's just say January before January comes around. And then plan your other leadership and uh, the rest of the time left with prospecting and important client events. So let's go back to the mental side of the game for just a second here, all right? So here's how this works. I'm sure your goals for 2014 are bigger than what your results were in 2013, right? Well, I certainly hope so. So if you're not growing forward, you are falling backwards. The only way you can achieve more than you ever have before is to become more than you've ever been. You have to grow into your goals, right? So the this is the this is the, the lesson that Brian Tracy taught me way back when, right? You want to take 10% of your income, tie that off to help others. And then you want to take 10% of your income, tie that off to invest in your personal growth and improvement. 10% of every dollar you make should go back to reinvesting in yourself so that you can expand yourself forward so that you can grow into your goals. So what is 10% of your 2014 income goal? This is the critical question. What will be 10% of your 2014 income goal? Invest that into you before 2014 starts. It's the only way you can grow into your goals. So let me break it down for you. Figure out what the number one goal that you've got is, and then figure out what's the number one skill that you need to have to accomplish that goal. So we're starting to create alignment here. If this is the number one goal, and we're gonna figure out what it is that's gonna be necessary to accomplish that goal, we have to figure out what's the number one skill that's going to most contribute to accomplishing that goal. So what is number one? What, when we polled the entire success community back at the halfway point of the year, and again recently, the number one skill most often recited that I keep hearing over and over and over again is time management. Is that true for you? 
I'll tell you, it's true for most people, and it's becoming increasingly more important every day because of the increasing challenges that we face. The difficulty is this. We are surrounded by ceaseless distractions that are constantly interrupting us, breaking our focus, and sucking us into all sorts of reactive, time-burning, and creative-crushing activities that have have us overwhelmed, overwhelmed, overstimulated, overexerted, and overextended while causing us to underproduce and underperform, leaving us anxious, frustrated, discouraged, unsatisfied, and unhappy. Here's what's happened. Take a look at this skill growth chart. This is the typical skill growth line of an achiever, not your average person, an achiever, someone like you who's listening and watching this web workshop right now. I'm not talking about your average Joe. Their growth line is basically flat. You're looking at the line of a self-improvement oriented achiever. This person in previous times would end up at the top of the corporate ladder or at the top of his or her industry. The challenge of our times is this. Change and progress has accelerated dramatically and it's growing exponentially and leaving most people behind, even previous achievers. Thus, the technologies that have advanced far faster than our skill development has. And see, you can say that the tail is now wagging the dog. All these technologies that we've designed to make us more productive and our lives easier have done ultimately just the opposite. And now we are strung out, constantly mentally and emotionally whipped, bombarded by ever increasing distractions and solicitations on our attention and time. But most devastating is we've lost our productive focus entirely and it is crushing our results. Thus, most people are having a massively difficult time. Staying focused, sticking to their priorities, preventing distractions, staying on plan, the plan that they set at the beginning of the year, or the beginning of the quarter, the beginning of the month, the beginning of the week, and keeping on track all along the way, and ultimately remaining consistent all year, all quarter, all month, all week, even all day long. Most people want this. They want to produce more than they currently are. I mean, let's admit it. You are way underperforming your potential. I can show you exactly how to triple your results in every area of your life while spending few hours doing it with less stress. And this is not hyperbole. How to 3x your current productivity in less time than you're spending with your nose to the grindstone and have what time you are spending be far less stressful than you're experiencing right now, no doubt. I can also show you how to have whole life success, what some call a truly balanced life with mental clarity, which means it brings mental peace, giving you emotional strength, fortitude, confidence, and power to do so. What you need is insane, laser-like focus. What controls your attention controls your life. Right now, so many other things are controlling your attention. Things unrelated to your goals, priorities, values, and desired outcomes in life. I can provide you with proven systems to keep your productive focus all throughout the day very specific daily methods of operation to keep you on track and strategies to multiply your outcomes. I'll show you how to crush the productivity destroying sabotagers that are yanking you off course and suppressing your potential. I'll also show you how to truly, no BS, because there's a lot out there on this topic, discover your passion. And it's different than you might think. And I'll give you a system that will guide you all along the way, day in, day out, step by step. The system that I designed for myself that I've used for the last 20 years that has produced all the results that I've got. And this will ultimately allow you to sustain your discipline, focus, and productive priorities. Ultimately, I wanna help you scale your time in productivity management, skill development, to match or exceed the scale of change and progress that we're all experiencing around us. To not scale this skill will be the peril of many. I know that for sure. So the number one skill that you need to succeed in today's dynamic culture, marketplace, and environment is time or productivity and focus management. Now, while this has always been important, it has never been more important than it is now. And so 
As I mentioned, when I asked the success community what their number one challenge was to accomplishing their big goals, this was the issue that got screamed out. And that is why at the beginning of 2013, I put together a um, high performance summit that was specifically designed to address this request and this need. I launched it in January 5th of this year. We ended up doing six of them and they were amazing. Truly life-changing for those who got a chance to attend. The first one sold out in under six hours. Three sold out in under an hour. Two of them never even got released publicly because they were all sold out to previous attendees who referred others and got the first chance to register. And here's a glimpse at what a couple said about this here. Mari Smith, some of you might know her. She said, truly exceptional, by far one of the most practical seminars I've ever attended. No fluff, just pure proven tactics that will help me Finally, play a much, much bigger game, exactly what I needed. Or Oscar Gomez, having attended so many seminars, I've never received so much good information in a straightforward manner. Implementing what I've learned will create a life-changing 2013 and many years to come. But here's the deal. Unfortunately, I'm not doing these summits next year. My schedule just doesn't permit it. So you, you can't even attend one of these. Uh, not the reason why I'm telling you. So what I'm doing instead, and I have to admit, is even far more exciting for me. The ability to reach and touch lots more people than even the thousand people that I got a chance to go to one of these previous summits. What I've done is package the entire curriculum as well as some advanced training sessions as well as uh, creating an environment where I can personally coach and mentor small groups into one program. It is called Insane Productivity. How to produce insane results, insanely fast, sanely. Key emphasis on sanely. There will only be 500 admitted into a class at a time. I want this to be a special coaching and mentoring experience where you can interact with me and interact with each other. And this is where you being on this workshop, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollar gift certificate as a gift from me, okay, for signing up and going the distance and being the kind of person that I wanna to help to talk to those that are watching this via recorded replay for a second here. We had uh, several classes of 500 sell out within the first hour after the workshop ended when this went live. And so we're extending the, the live workshop gift to you as well that you'll hear about. Um, if you're listening to this recording. We didn't want you penalized for not being able to attend live. I know what life can be like sometimes. So I'm proud of you for having followed up and followed through by listening now. So there will be further instructions as the workshop continues, but you can also always go to insaneproductivity.com only during this pre-release period of time and get the gift that I will uh, continue to talk about as the workshop progresses. So let me, let me first outline the program for you quickly so you can get a sense of what this is all about. There are 12 audio modules to the curriculum. Um, when the program is released, you'll be able to download all 12 immediately as it's delivered digitally. This way you can listen on your computer, you can listen on your tablet, your mobile device, and take it with you as you drive, as you work out, uh, as you walk the dogs, as you travel, etc. And inside these audio modules, you will learn the proven methods for achieving extreme levels of personal achievement. This is me opening up a window for you to peek into the private world of success insights from the most elite achievers of our time, the ones that I've had the opportunity to spend some incredible time with. These are the folks that you'll get a chance to find out how they operate during their day? What do they do first thing in the morning? How do they get themselves motivated? How do they keep themselves consistent throughout the day? How do they motivate people around them? I'll just give you some ideas of what we're gonna, what, what some of these ideas are. Dr. Oz's strategy for consistently delivering excellence in a multitude of projects. The guy manages so much, it's amazing, and in each one he delivers with excellence, but there's a specific strategy that he uses to do just that. Then I'll show you how Steve Jobs structures his day to keep himself focused. Uh, this has been huge for me, adopting this particular philosophy. Oh, and this one is killer. The Buffett method of prioritization. The number one key Warren Buffett attributes to his success. This is it. This is the, the, the one idea he says uh, is his key to prioritization and focus. And then the one thing I learned from Richard Branson that 
changed the, the direction of my life forever. I mean, no kidding, changed the game for me, and I know that it will you too. Oh, and this one is seminal. I mean, how Maria Shriver changed my definition of success and the future purpose of my life. Okay, this I'm going to give you some insights to the dialogue that we had and how I reflected on it, the changes that I made, and the impact that it's had on my life as a result of it. Unbelievable, life-changing, definitely an epiphany. How the decision-making process, uh, after learning from Jeff Bezos, radically changed it, uh, this, when, whenever I evaluate an opportunity, a deal, a decision, this is the framework in which I uh, operate from, and it's totally changed my ability to make great decisions. See, what happens is, after six years of having access to these incredible minds, life is entirely different. I equate it like this. Life in the pathway to success for most people is like watching a 3D movie without the special 3D glasses. Everything looks fuzzy, you don't really know what's going on, and it all gives you a big giant headache. That's what life's like for most. But then, when you put on the glasses, it all becomes crystal clear. You see clearly the simplicity of what you need to do, where you need to go, and how you can navigate it easily and with less effort and very little difficulty. That's what I wanna help you with. Give you the 3D glasses for you to see the success patterns and use them to produce big results in your life. Additionally, I will give you the key growth strategy used by Richard Branson, Mark Zuckerberg, Michael Dell, Donald Trump, Warren Buffett, and the Google guys, Sergey Brin and Larry Page. Whether they know it or not, they use the same mindset and strategy to orient their growth plan that I've seen uh, amongst them all. And I'll outline the goal achievement strategy used by Pete Cashmore of Mashable uh, to become worth more than a hundred million bucks in his mid-twenties. John C. Maxwell and Kenneth Cole, there's a consistency about how they go about achieving their goals. And then the organizational leadership strategy of Steve Jobs, Joel Osteen, and John Wooden. How these guys motivate those around them to excellence. Plus, 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 as I mentioned before, four ways that you're probably sabotaging your success, causing you stress and costing you lots of time and money, and then the specific strategies to crush them. Plus, the, bl the blueprint for designing your glorious life. I'll give you the exact blueprint, a framework for how you can design your life, easily and readily accomplish it, discovering your true passion, the strategic breakthroughs for going big and finally realizing your potential. Uh, also, how to hack your motivational mind. Why is it that you lose motivation? Well, it's part of your ancient brain and I can show you how to hack it. Secrets to sustain discipline. Tips for multiplying your productive output in compressed time while reducing stress. Oh, and I'm really only skimming the surface. There's thousands of hours that went into the development of this curriculum, drawn from tens of thousands of hours in study, interviews, edits, practice and trial and error, not to mention the many millions of dollars that went into the journey to collect, package, and put all this together. And I'm really only just, you, you know, the results speak for themselves. You'll get way more than you expected. As Pinar Adar said, right? Refreshing and transforming, way more than I expected. Tom Griffith said, been to a ton of these personal development ends, never found so much good stuff. Uh, too many actionable, profitable ideas to even count, simply awesome. On top of it, there's also six video mentoring sessions where I will walk you through several of the critical key strategies on how to integrate them into your daily process and, and systems. You know for me, after listening to Success Magazine, I want it to be relevant and applicable, something that you could take action on. So those who attended the summit, by the way, didn't even get this. This will be entirely new and it leverages off of the thousand or so folks who went through the summit now knowing where their stop gaps are, what needs they have to further their training and development, and what has really, really worked to produce so many incredible results. We'll take all that learning and then make that uh, useful for you in these video sessions. Other topics will include the daily integration strategies, what worked for me, what didn't, how to develop a winning support team, finding and cultivating and maximizing mentors, setting up your environment, building systems, and utilizing the right tools to support a high-performance life. Then the proper business and personal management of social media, that by itself is huge. I wish everybody just for that module in itself. Uh, methods that I've used to simplify my life, how to truly live a quote unquote balanced life. And I'll tell you why I say quote unquote. 
One strategy I use every day to outproduce the average Fortune 500 CEO by 3x, that one in itself is worth its weight in gold. How I train others around me, how to treat me. And then, of course, much, much more. I can't really detail all that there is inside this uh, in, in this brief period. Just know that I would have paid more than a million dollars to gain these insights since it has cost me much more than that to collect them and it has earned me much more than that now having them. Oh, and you also get a complete downloadable manual with all the content uh, well prepared, outlined, and set up to maximize your learning. You can say that this manual is essentially the modern think and grow rich in the area of personal productivity and goal achievement as it is derived from the best ideas, strategies from today's greatest industrialists, packaged, digested, and compressed into the manual that you see before you on the screen. The goods are inside here, I can promise you. In fact, that is how Geraldo Hodge Jr. put it. He said to have a full day, in my opinion, with the modern day Napoleon Hill was worth the time and investment. And he says he'll profit from millions of dollars over his lifetime. Shane Stott says you can't find a more direct source and more concentrated knowledge than Darren Hardy in this training. It will add millions to my business, but more important, mental peace for a lifetime. So you probably ask yourself, how much is this going to cost? It seems like this could be ridiculously expensive. So let me explain. Len Wallace, um, she says the... Uh, the ideas that she drew out of this transformed her company. She's increased her bottom line 22% profit in a year. What would you pay to increase your profit by 22%? Greg Hammond reduced his stress, increased his focus, and he increased his revenue by $500,000. What would you pay to increase your revenue by $500,000? These fine and beautiful looking folks that you see before you, they paid anywhere from $14.95 to $22.95 for their seat at the summit. Some of them got access to the early bird price at 9.95, but nobody paid less than that in order to access this information. So, before you answer the question on how much it costs, let me pass along something my mentor Jim Rohn taught me about evaluating the cost of personal improvement training programs. He said, "Don't ask yourself what it costs. Instead, ask yourself what it's worth." He said, "As what does it cost not to have these training and insights? What does it cost you to end up alone and estranged from your spouse or family or the inability to send your children to the university of their choice or not being able to help your parents out financially when they need it or continuing to live in fear with a lack of self-confidence or a troubled home environment that might end up in calamity? Jim would say, that's what it costs. Then he would say, evaluate it in what it would be worth to have a long, beautiful marriage of great intimacy and happiness, to send your children to the greatest universities in the world, to financially retire your parents, to abolish fear and gain supreme self-confidence, to deepen your relationships with the most important people to you. And as Francis Schmeling did after the summit, he said, this is what he wrote, absolutely transformational. The content will allow me to become a better husband, father, and business leader. Or as John Moore said, You've definitely given me the invaluable tools to change my life. I feel more confident and have a better vision of the things that I can do to accomplish my big, hairy, audacious goals. I want to help you be a hero, not just at the office, but also at home. I want the people in both places to look up to you as an example of what's possible with great pride. I want you to be a great ambassador of success and start a ripple around you of the influence that you can have with your great example. Like happened for these fine folks, right? Justin, having gained these key insights, uh, I project to easily double my bottom line. Cody said, I've used Darren's goal setting methodology for the past couple of years and experienced a 400% plus growth in business and income while achieving balance. Okay, key point, right? Growth in business as well as balance in all other areas of my life. Antonio Wong, It'll give me back more time, which is more important than anything else, an increase of 100000 in revenue. Sanjay says, life-changing, increase the bottom line to six to seven figures, incredible, recommended highly. So what would it cost for you to simply just hire me? Well, if you want me to come and speak at one of your conferences, that would cost you $25,000 for a 90-minute keynote. 
Or if you want to hire me to come and do a private leadership training on site at your facility, that'll cost you $45,000 for a day. Or if you want to have me on your board of advisors, that's $100,000 minimum. That's the beginning engagement for an annual board of advisors position. Okay, so that's just giving you some context by comparison. So what does the insane productivity program cost? It won't cost you anywhere near that, a lot less than you might think. And that is why I put this together, to be able to offer this to small groups at scale. So the insane productivity program will cost $14.95, but here's what I promised you at the beginning. As a gift for being on this workshop, I'm gonna give you a $1,000 gift certificate against this. So instead of it being $14.95, it'll only be $495, right? But this is only during this pre-release period. This program will not officially launch until January 15th, 2014. And only because you are ordering it during this pre-release period will this price be available. So don't have regrets. And please do not ask for this price in January. This is it only now and then it's over, okay? This is pre-release before it even gets released in this year before we go into 2014. And by the way, as I mentioned, only 500 are being admitted into the first academy. Once those seats are sold out, they're sold out. I mean, I've had all sorts of people complain that they never got a chance to go to the summit, that it was sold out before they even knew or they got answered their email or what have you. So this is so we can keep this interactive exchange amongst the group possible. So, hey, time is of the essence. Like Warren Buffett said, one of the keys to his deal-making prowess is, quote, when you see an opportunity, don't blink. In the end in life, you won't regret the decisions you made. You will most likely regret the decisions you didn't make. So when you click the Add to Cart button below, you'll be taken to a non-public registration page that's only linked off of the page that you're watching this online workshop with. This is where you can access the program during the pre-release only and only at this price. But remember, only 500 are admitted per class. So. Bang! The starting gun has got off. First 500 are accepted. Just click the Add to Cart button below this video and you'll get the $1,000 gift certificate immediately added to that private page and you will be off to the races. Remember, the program will officially launch on January 15th. This is pre-release, hence the one-time special pricing. Let's take a pause once again for those that are watching via recorded replay. I don't want you feeling left out, so let me assure you, yes, you can still access the pre-release special pricing as a registrant of this workshop. Just click the button below or go to www.insaneproductivity.com. But I warn you, this is only before it's launched. The price will be $1,495 and the $1,000 gift certificate that I'm offering will go away. And I guarantee you, if you paid the regular price, you will come back to me and say it was worth 10x that amount. You are just taking advantage of the timing right now is all. Hey, are you busy? You're not sure how to juggle, let alone balance it all and find success in all your different endeavors? That's true for many people. And you're probably like these people right here. I mean, take a look at Heidi. This is what she said. I've started seven businesses in the last five years. Wow. And it was the, I was beginning to feel unfocused and unclear of what I needed to be doing. Now I'm not. I now know what to do. I'm clear about how to drive all seven to success. Or as Melissa, as a doctor, business owner, and entrepreneur, this was a fantastic opportunity to condense and clarify my vision towards success. I cannot tell you how valuable I believe this experience has been. So this is what I want to help you do. Help you scale the most important skill you need to survive and thrive in this wild new world we have found ourselves in. Learn the skills and you can achieve insane productivity, insane results, insanely fast, sanely. But hurry, please, I'm asking you, prodding you as your mentor, pushing you, only the first 500 are accepted during this pre-release phase. Look, even if you're saying to yourself, I'm already so busy, I don't need something else to make my life more intense. I totally understand that is what P. Kang said as well. I wasn't sure about this. I didn't want another intense event to intensify my already intense life, but the information actually brought me more freedom. That's what we want to create for you. 
So the most frequently asked question I get about my own personal results is this. What do I deem the most important discipline that has caused any unusual success that I've had? And it is this one, the one that I learned from Brian Tracy that I've talked to you about, the 10-10 rule. Take 10% of your income, carve it off to help others. Take another 10% of your income, carve it off to reinvest in your own personal development. When I was 18 years old, making $150,000 a year, that was $15,000. You earn more. I mean, at this point, I am superstitious about this. Every year, if I do not spend 10% of every dollar that I make, I'm worried that I won't grow into bigger goals next year. So this has been a discipline I've used since I was 18 years old, and I would attribute it 100% as the most important discipline by far of anything that has produced my great results. And as my mentor Jim Rohn taught me, an investment in your personal development is the best investment you can make. The aim of life is to see what all you can become with all you've got. So, enough said. If Brian, Jim, and I cannot convince you, prod you, to dig out the greater potential in yourself, nothing will. It's now up to you. I invite you backstage with me to draw on the strategies of the best in the world to achieve extreme levels of personal productivity. This is how they do it. Massive results in less time with less stress than you're experiencing right now. This is how they produce the fruit and enjoy the fruit of their extraordinary results. The fruit tree is backstage. Please come and join me. This is your last chance to be part of the inaugural Insane Productivity class. We can make 2014 a big year for you. The goal will be the best year yet. So thank you for joining me for this special online workshop. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have preparing this for you. And I hope that you execute on the many ideas I've passed along that have made such a big difference to me and my results. I look forward to hearing the stories of your outcomes and look forward to working with you in 2014, helping you achieve insane results, insanely fast, insanely. All right. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye for now.